Hi everyone, in this video, I'll teach you how to apply effects in CapCut. Don't you worry, this will be quick and easy, so let's go ahead and begin. Okay, so first we're going to open the CapCut application. And once open, you can now either use the CapCut app camera to shoot the video or a photo. But if you've already uploaded the video, here in CapCut, tried editing it, you will see it in the local edits tray. But if not, and you still haven't uploaded any video here, all you have to do is to tap on the new project to add a video or upload from your gallery. For this video, I'll just use an existing video here in my local edits. Let's go ahead and tap it. As you can see, once you've tapped on it, you will be transferred to this screen, and this is the editing screen. And if you look on the bottom part of your screen, you will see a set of options, and right on the right part next to overlay and ratio, you will see the effects option. That is the one that we're looking for. Let's go ahead and tap it to add effects. As you can see, once you've tapped on it, you will be given three options. You can either add a video effect, a body effect, or a photo effect. Depends on the video, but if you would like to add the video effects, all you have to do is to tap on it. And you will be given this different options for the effects. Are opening and closing lens nightclub star distortion and many more you can apply it to your video let's say that I'll add this blur As you can see the effect blur is now on the video also you can adjust by tapping on adjust As you can see you can now adjust how the effects are your video. Once you're done, all you have to do is to tap on the check on the top right corner of the prompt. Let's go ahead and tap it. As you can see, it is now applied. And also, once you've added an effect, you will see this new set of options here on the bottom part of your screen. You can either adjust replace effect, copy, object, and delete the effect. So if you'd like to replace and try other effects, all you have to do is tap on it and look for the other effect that you'd like to apply. Okay, so we're done with the video effects. We'll now try the body effects. By the way, body effects only apply to the person or a real person in your video, as for when you tap it, the effects applies to the people in it. And for the last one, the photo effects, when you tap on it, you will be given this set of options that only applies to photos that you'd like to include in the video. Once done, all you have to do is to tap on check. And you can edit the span of time that you want the effect to last in the video by tap and hold the handle of the effect and drag it up until to where you want it to end. You can, or you can make it throughout the whole video. All you have to do is to drag it all the way. to the end. As you can see, it is blurred all the way to the end. And there you go. That's it for this video. I hope this video helped. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, ring the notification bell for you to be updated for newly uploaded tutorials. And I'll see you in the next video.